Good morning children we are learning multiplication and to do it today also in this class we will learn the word problem we will solve the word problem based on multiplication some of the problems are given here these are the examples in a library there are 1250 books in each almira that means one almira can contain 1250 books there are 62 almiras in the library find the total number of books in the library you have to find out the number of books in 62 almira number of book in books in one almira is given how can we solve we can write like this number of books in each almira that means one almira is equal to 1250 number of almira is 62 so the total number of books in 62 almira is equal to 1250 multiplied by 62 we will multiply these two numbers and we will get the total number of books in the library we multiply these two numbers that is 1250 and 62 first of all we multiply these numbers by 2 and we will get 2 multiplied by 0 is 0 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 10 or uh, 5 is equal to 10 you will write 0 here and you will carry 1 then 2 multiplied by 2 2 to the 4 and 1 5 and 2 ones and 2 and we will write here 2 now the next step you will multiply the number by 6 6 and 0 you will write first 0 here then 6 and 0 0 Six and five, thirty. You will write zero here, and three you will carry. Six to the twelve and three, fifteen. You will write five here, and one you will carry. Six one the six and one seven. Then you will add these numbers: zero and zero, zero, zero and zero, again zero. Five plus zero, five. Two plus five, seven, and this is seven. Now this is your answer: seventy-seven thousand five hundred books are there in the. Almira. You can write here. Thus, the number of books in sixty-two almiras is seventy-seven thousand five hundred. Now, the second example. Second question is here. Rajat saves rupees three hundred fifty every month. That is, in one month, he save he saves rupees three hundred fifty. How much money can he save? First question in twelve months. in if in one month he can get 300 he can uh, saves 350 in 12 months he can save 350 into 12 you will multiply these two numbers you will write like this money saved by rajat in one month is equal to 350 money saved by rajat in 12 months is equal to 350 multiplied by 12 you will multiply these two numbers First we multiply by two, two and zero, zero, two and five, ten. You will write zero here. Two three zero, six and one seven. One and zero, you will write zero. One five zero five. One three zero three. Then you will add the numbers, and you will get the answer. That is, Rajat saves four thousand two hundred in twelve months. This is your answer. Now the next question. The next question is written here. In four years, how much money does Rajat save? We can solve. We know that one year is equal to twelve months. Money saved in one year is equal to four thousand two hundred fifty. We got the answer. We write here. So money saved in four years is equal to. We will multiply the money saved in one year to four. Like this, four and zero, zero, four and zero, zero, four to the eight, four to the sixteen. That means sixteen thousand eight hundred. In four years, he can save sixteen thousand eight hundred. In this way, we solve the word problems based on multiplication. Now the next question. This is our worksheet four. 
you have to solve the following word problems i will send the solution as pdf you can see and solve the problems there are 850 toffees in a packet how many toffees are there in 250 in packets suppose you have a packet of toffee and there are 850 toffees then you have to find out that how many toffees are in 215 packets simply you will multiply the digits in one packet there are 850 toffees so in 215 packets there are 850 into 215 we multiply these two numbers now question number two a can of oil contains 15 liters of oil how much oil is there in 240 such cans one can 15 liters then 240 can 15 into 240 is the quantity of oil you can get it as our answer now question number c 230 beads in one necklace then how many number of beads in 167 such necklaces Again you will multiply this and this number and you will get as your answer. Question number D. One dozen bananas cost rupees 36. The cost of 7, 20 dozen bananas. You have to find out. Simply you will multiply this and this number. And question number E. There are 1000 pages in one book. Then you have to find out the number of pages in 75 such books you will multiply again this and this and you will get your answer i will send the pdf of solution also now value based questions rohan visited a charitable hospital with his grandparents during a summer vacation there he saw that most of the fans were not in proper working condition rohan wanted to help the patients of the charitable hospital by donating some fans he spoke to his father who was the president of the colony the colony donated 35 fans to the charitable hospital the hospital authorities were thankful to rohan and his father these questions are based in this information. If the cost of one fan is 895, then how much money was spent on the fan, fans? Cost, uh, cost of one fan is this and there are 35 fans. You simply multiply this to this and you will get the answer. Question number two. In what other ways can you help a charitable hospital? How you will help a charitable hospital? This question is asked to you. You can write the answer next day we will learn division 